But for me, it was feeling like, okay, I need to be perfect to be loved rather than I am already lovable. We are all already lovable just as we are. And sometimes, a lot of times too, our imperfections make us more attractive and then they make us real and they connect us with other people rather than just really being two dimensional. Yeah. So how, how did you begin to heal from that? Or how do you teach people to heal from like releasing those limiting beliefs? And you, you know what I mean? Like, how do you shift that belief? It's a lot because everyone's so different. It's really going back um, into, you know, we, we sometimes with my clients, we'll do meditations or we do questions, answers and exercises and activities to really get deep down. But a lot of times there is that first, you know, or a few first experiences when you're in maybe childhood or you're in middle school, high school, where you're having these experiences that are affecting your self-worth and how you see yourself as an individual. So a lot of it is the inner child healing, shadow work, and writing a new story that you recognize. Like for me, like I was bullied in middle school and that made me feel unlovable. Like, oh, there's something wrong with me rather than recognizing that was about them. So then I was able to kind of take my power back when I reprogrammed basically my story and my brain. Um, then it wasn't affecting me in the same way. Um, because if we don't heal these old stories, then they come into our life as patterns and, um, unhealthy relationships and things like that are just reaffirming those beliefs because our beliefs are going to impact our reality. Yeah. I think it's so powerful that, that reprogramming stories. Um, how do you, I guess, rewrite those stories? Do you just like look at it from a new perspective and then you change the story in your mind? Like tell us the process. <laughs> I don't know if we have enough time to do it. I'll try as much as I can. Oh, a it's lot okay. of it is in the workbook. Deeper, actually. Yeah. yeah. Tell us what's in the workbook. <laughs> yeah. So I can actually, well, I can get it in a second, but the workbook has um, different chapters that focus on different things. So like limiting beliefs. So you're doing exercises and activities that bring you back into those times. Um, and that can be part of the reprogramming of your brain. You're looking at it from a different perspective. You're putting a lot of those limiting beliefs on trial, like you're challenging them. You're looking for evidence. Mm -hmm. Is this really true? Am I really unlovable? Yeah. And where did this come from? And then how you can release it. And I think it's just a lot of part of it. It's like growing up and learning that those were just old you know, misbeliefs or um, limiting beliefs that are not true anymore, that you can let go of and write a new story. 